Did you know that 82% of companies around the world report that they generate less than 100 leads a month? 100 leads a month. How can you build a successful business online through 100 leads a month? The most successful companies on the planet generate thousands to tens of thousands of leads every single month, quality leads every single month. The question is, what do they know that the 82% don't have? And how can you do the same without spending a ton of time, money, and resources and generate thousands to tens of thousands of leads every single month for your business online. My name is Benson Sun, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how you can generate thousands of quality leads every single month without a ton of time or money. At the end of this video, I'm gonna be giving you the conversion templates, the exact guides, resources, and website things that you need to have in order to generate thousands of high quality leads every single month for your business. Now, before we continue, one of the most important parts that you must have for your business online, before we even talk about generating high quality leads, is traffic. You must have thousands, tens of thousands, to hundreds of thousands of high quality traffic every month or every year at least, to be able to convert those into leads, high quality leads. Now, if you do not know this, then I recommend you go on bensonzen.com, go to the traffic section of the Digital Mark University, where I show you exactly how you can build up your traffic through 12 core steps to be able to amplify this and generate high quality traffic to your website before we even talk about generating them into leads and conversions as well. Now, here's the exact process that we've used internally for our own companies and also for other clients all around the globe to generate high quality leads, thousands of leads every single month for the business. What you wanna focus on is we wanna map out the conversion journey for your target audience. What do I mean by that? Well, when someone lands on your website, how are they traveling through the website? What are the pages that they go on and how do they convert into a lead? What is the entry points? Let's say, for example, someone goes on your homepage, right? You go on the homepage and they see the image and they see the different parts that so you're leading them to different pages on your website. You probably have an about page, a shop page, a contact page, a blog, a resources page, and you have some other content pages or conversion pages that are there. When they go on those pages, what are they seeing and how are you converting them into a lead? What is the step that you want them to take? What is the journey? We almost wanna map out what is the yellow brick road that leads them to Oz. Ultimately, obviously the leads that you want to generate, we want to turn them into lifelong customers. We want them to refer more of the people that they know in their circle to your business. We want them to really become raving fans and raving lifelong customers. The process starts from this. So what I want you to do is I want you to go on Gliffy.com or you can take out a piece of paper and then you can use Gliffy.com for example to map out the process, the diagram of what the journey looks like when someone lands on your website. Take each page, the home page, each page, and go through multiple different pathways, where are the places that they would click. And at the same time, take a look at your analytics. Look at Google Analytics or whatever analytic platform you're using and see what is the journey? What pages are people going to? What is the flow? What is the referral traffic coming from? How long do they stay on your site? What are the pages with the highest bounce rate? All these things are critical factors to determine what does the journey look like. For example, when you go on bensonsun.com, you go on the home page, you see there's a video right here, an image of me, and then below you can see there's the videos, right? Behind the success, breakthroughs with Benson and Digital Secrets. Then below you have a section that drives into D Digital Marketing University, and you have people that I have below with consulting, like Neil, Jay, and all these other clients that are saying great things about me. And then the next thing is you have all the opt-in at the bottom of the page. So that's one way that people can be able to join and become a part of the system and become a lead in my business. The other thing that people can do is they can go on to Digital Marketing University and they can scroll down, you can see there's an opt-in. At the very bottom, there's also an exit pop-up. And if they go on any pages like how to generate more traffic, how to get more leads, or how to be able to convert those leads into sales, there's also exit pop-ups and opt-ins on the page. Now even deeper, when you click on any of these things, on the videos, on the guides, on the resources, on the, on the blog posts, when they go on the page, there's also sidebar opt-ins, there's content expansion opt-ins, there's an exit pop-up, there's a header bar or a footer bar. There's so many different ways. I'm giving them so many different options without ruining the user experience on my site for them to be able to convert into a lead without focusing on too much of conversion sales. So that's what I mean when I say you wanna map out what is a conversion journey for your website? How are you getting them to entry into your business to say, let's communicate? I wanna learn more about your business. I wanna start cultivating that relationship with you. I wanna start building that trust. 
and be able to receive more value. And how can you add more value to your target audience? When you want them to start the conversation with you, you want to give them the opportunity to do so through these opt-ins on the site. And it starts by mapping out the conversion journey for your business. Now at the same time, other than the Digital Marketing University, there's the private notes page, there's the shows page, there's the bio page, and then there's all a contact page. I have all these different pages that lead them through a journey that I want them to take on understanding more about me, understanding more about how I can add value to them, how I can help them grow their business online, and so many resources in the Digital Marketing University, right? So now you're probably thinking, so what? What is the purpose of all this? Well, I'm about to say something that's very important. If you don't have a map and a clear guideline for how you're gonna convert people into leads through your business, then how can you expect your target audience, once they land on your website, to be able to become quality leads and wanna start the communication with you? If you lack clarity, direction, and certainty, how can we expect our target audience or your target audience that lands on your website or through the landing pages to have clarity on what they should do next? How do we know that they're gonna go through certain pathways and different things. We want to make sure that we set very clear milestones, very clear roads, very clear paths for them to go through and ultimately, if they're ready, add value to them through the content on your site, understand that your story and all these different things, add value to them. At the same time, then when they're ready, convert them into a lead through this process. So you want to give them a map. If you don't have a map yourself, how can you expect them to know where they should be going? So that's the most important part of what I just said. Now to help you make your conversion map and the journey easier for you and your target audience to give them clarity, direction, and certainty, we must understand and I wanna teach you the three core stages of the conversion journey that your target audience and any business or any industry will go through. The first stage is called awareness. Now awareness is where your target audience lands on your website and they don't know anything about your business. They might be just checking you out. That means they lack the trust, they lack the relationship, they don't, haven't received any value from you, they don't know anything about your business, and they might not even be aware of the need, the problems, or the results that they want. So the goal here is to build awareness. And the way you do this is through the content that's on your website. You want something that's simple and easy for them to consume. I just said something, again, very important. You want people, when they land on your site, that they don't feel confused. You want them to resonate with the message on your website, the design, and all these things. But the most important thing is when they consume the content to get value from you, to get the questions that they have answered, to get the results that they want to achieve and the problems that they want to overcome from the content that you have on your website, through the videos, the guides, the resources, and make it simple and easy for them to consume, take action on it or think about it and get values or ideas from it. That's how you cultivate a relationship is by adding value. But on a site, the way that you do that is by showing the content and for them to consume it and then they do it. You can't communicate with someone through the website. The way you do that is gonna be through your content that you promote. So at the awareness stage, the most important thing is having strong, foundational, valuable content that relates to the results that they want, the problems that they want to be able to overcome. That's how you build that awareness because the awareness stage, a lead that means a lead for your business is usually very low quality because there's no chance that everybody that visits your website is ultimately gonna become a quality lead. They wanna know first, can they help me? Is this website the right website? Is this the right business? Do they answer my questions? Because all the target audience that goes to your site, they have a ton of objections in their mind. They have so much noise. So you gotta provide them clarity, certainty, and direction in the way that they want to go. Now, those that find your content enjoyable, interesting, and answers their questions, solves their problems, provides results, will ultimately transition on to become a lead. But that's the whole goal of the content on your website is to build awareness. Your about page, your shop page, your blog page, your contact page, all these different pages, including your community page, is to build that trust and relationship. One of the things that businesses forget often is that when people go online, there's just a website, it's literally just a page. The goal of the website is people don't feel emotions from it. People don't feel the connection, the value or the relationships. So it's so important to be able to establish that through visual content. Like for you watching this video, you going on Digital Marketing University, you looking at everything that I have is leading with videos. There's a reason why I lead with videos. Because videos is a way for me to bridge the connection with you. You're seeing something on the screen, you're watching me, you can see my body, you can hear my voice, you can see visual as well. People love to learn through visuals. People like to see things, people like to see people. It builds an instant connection. It also builds more of the awareness than let's say reading a piece of content on a piece, on a piece of paper on the website 
or through a web page. So videos is a very powerful way for you to do this. That's why you wanna focus on doing that. Now, once you've been able to set up the core awareness part of the stage of conversion very well for your target audience, they're finding value from your content and they wanna start the communication with you, that's when they say, here's my name and email, let's start talking. I wanna learn more about your business, I wanna receive more value, I think there's something here for me. That's what your target audience is saying when they opt in. And also, especially through the asset that you're giving them, they're finding value in it. So the next stage that we're gonna focus on, which is the most important part of the process, is called indoctrination. And the indoctrination stage is through the automation, is through the funnels, is through the segmentation, is through the trust and the relationship building process that we want to focus on. This is where when they say, hey, I'm raising my hand, I want to interested in learning about your business, we wanna show them certain automations, certain communication sequences to be able to add value to them, build the trust and the relationship. So for example, one of the main things that we wanna do when someone becomes a lead is we wanna have a welcome automation or a welcome sequence. Now the welcome automation sequence focuses on really building that connection with the business, right? We wanna talk about the story of your business. We wanna talk about how you can help them solve their problems, how you can help them achieve the results. We also wanna show them your community. Who are you helping right now? What is the community that you're serving? And at the same time, who is the target audience that you've already helped, your past customers that are getting great results with your product or service, and show them to that target audience so then the people feel like they're seeing the same group of people and you're building likeness, you're building rapport, you're building the trust and the relationship, not through using you, but through people in the community and your past customers, so that you're lowering the risk that your target audience is perceiving when they want to be able to buy your product or service. That's the most important part. I just said something key. You're lowering the amount of risk, the amount of noise, and the amount of stuff that's moving them against you, the resistance, because there's always a resistance between the indoctrination process, and that's why it's so important. There's a resistance between why they haven't bought your product yet, why they haven't decided to become a lifelong customer, why they aren't referring people to you. It's because they have the resistance and the objections in their mind. They have challenges. They have questions in their mind. Does your product or service work for me? Is this the right time for me? Does the product or service that you're using, is it good for everybody else? How can it help me? They have all these questions in their mind and that's why the indoctrination process, it answers those questions, it adds value to them and it builds that relationship. So the welcome sequence is one of the first ones you wanna have. Show them testimonials, show them different assets as well so they can use to be able to get more value from your business. Show them all these different things like stories of your business to be able to cultivate that relationship. The reason why an indoctrination process is also so powerful, the second most important reason is that at this point in time, your target audience knows that they have a problem they wanna solve or there's a result they wanna to move towards. So they're evaluating their options. And at the same time, you could keep in mind, realistically, your competitors are also trying to get them to buy their product or service. So they have all these, your target audience has all these questions in their mind. They're evaluating their options, but they know they're trying to decide, what is the right business for me to commit my hard-earned money into? Who do I wanna work with? Who represents my values and has the same beliefs that I have? That's very important. You wanna demonstrate that you have the same values and the same beliefs like your target audience because then you're able to build the emotional connection. It's not just about the product or service or the money, it's about what your business stands for. So that's why it's important to add trust, build value, and be able to have that relationship because at, this, at the main point is that people buy from people they know, like, and trust. And that's what you're establishing through the indoctrination process. Final milestone and part of the conversion journey that we want your target audience to reach is conversion. Now, the reason why conversion is so important is that once we have these quality leads, we ultimately want them to become a big percentage of them, lifelong customers that continuously buy and also at the same time refer a lot of people to your business. But we're not gonna focus too much on this because first thing I wanna help you achieve the result is being able to generate thousands of quality leads every single month. If you remember the title of this video and everything that we're talking about. So the most important thing we wanna have is we wanna at least get them to the point where in the indoctrination process, you're adding a lot of value to them, you're cultivating the relationship, and then you're able to also be able to build them to the point where at that point, they wanna buy from you and you don't have to sell to them. There's a very big difference between having a target audience wanna buy from you versus you trying to sell them and hard sell them and all these different things. What are the things that you need to be able to say through your copy? What are the sequences and indoctrinations that you need to have through your marketing automation to be able to convert them ultimately into a lifelong customer? Now, if we apply the three stages that I just shared with you on bensonsun.com, you can see the awareness stage was what I mentioned at the beginning. Right? They go on the site, 
there's a lot of the videos, there's a lot the, of the different shows that I have. There's also at the same time, the Digital Marketing University, which provides a lot of content to help businesses start and grow a successful business online. That's the whole awareness stage. The next thing we'll talk about is indoctrination. And the way I'm doing that, once they convert on the lead through the, all the different opt-ins that I share with you, there's a the marketing automation that I have through the specific asset that they opted in for. So the, someone opts in on a copywriting page, they want to learn more about how to use copywriting to amplify and grow their business online. They have received the ultimate resource kit. And through the ultimate resource kit and the indoctrination, I give them everything on that list. I give them the resources, the guides, the videos, but at the same time, I also show them more about my story, what I represent, how I started out, why I'm doing this for their business, and at the same time, how I can add more value. What are the problems and the results that they want to be able to focus on? All these different things, these segmentations as they go through the process is how I'm doing it for myself as well. So what I'm teaching you is what's exactly happening and what I'm doing and works really well. Now let's do a simple recap of the five core stages that people are going through on your website. The first stage is they are a visitor on your site. So they landed on your website, they have questions on their mind, they don't know if they should become a customer, they don't know if they should part with their hard earned money because they have a lot of these trust that they don't have with your business, they don't know more about your business, they don't know if they should be able to buy from you, they doubt themselves, they doubt the product or service, they have all these resistance against moving forward. That's in the visitor and they might be able to come from your social media, your paid advertising and all these different channels. The second thing is a call to action. Call to action is you want to make sure that your navigation bar on your website, the call to action for them to convert into a lead, the call to action to be able to go onto a blog post or social media or all these different parts, you have a solid call to action. The next thing you want to have is you want to have a landing page or some kind of place where they can opt in to become a lead. The next thing you want to have is you want to make sure you have that asset which we're gonna talk about in the next video, where we're focusing on what is the main value of the asset that you're giving them in exchange for them to become a lead in the business. And the final thing is you wanna have a form. A form is where a place where they can basically be able to opt in. It can be a single form where they can see the form name and email right there, or it could just be a form, for example, a simple uh, click and then there's a pop-up and then they can opt in. But how many form fields should you have? How much information do you need from your target audience before they can commit and become a lead in your business. Now, do you see from the conversion journey, from the way I showed you on bensonson.com for Digital Marketing University and the five core elements you must have, do you see how everything starts fitting together? If not, don't worry, don't be overwhelmed by this process, even though it's the most important part of generating high quality leads every single month in your business, there's gonna be a step-by-step walkthrough near the end. Now let's go into some actual examples in the real world where you can see when you're mapping out the conversion journey for your target audience, how you can reduce the resistance, build that trust, build that relationship even faster. And at the same time, the five core elements to be able to convert thousands of leads every month from your website that we just talked about. You go on bensonsum.com, you go on Digital Marketing University, you can see right below the video, I'm showing you what are the three core results that you want right now. Do you wanna be able to generate more traffic and build that community? Or do you wanna be able to convert that into leads and be able to indoctrinate them, which is what we're talking about in this video? Or do you wanna go in to convert them into long-term sales and customers and build a successful long-lasting business online? I focus on the three results that I know and are required to be able to build a successful business online. Traffic, leads, and sales. And then below, you can see I'm splitting it even more by the 12 core digital marketing drivers to be successful online. Right, copywriting, digital advertising, all these different categories. The reason why I do this is I'm personalizing the journey and the experience for the target audience that goes on my site. I'm providing them direction, clarity, and certainty, and also results in solving their problems as well. If you go on each individual page, you can see I'm giving them literally a roadmap of how they can become successful with the results that they want or a specific category related to digital marketing. And now, I'm not the only one that's doing this. Let's say you're in the e-commerce business. If you go on honest.com, the first thing that pops up, you can see they're asking you different things about their website. Are you interested in personal care? Are you interested in baby? Are you interested in different things? What is it that you're interested in? They're personalizing that journey for you right at the start because they know that when they do this, you can generate an extremely high conversion rate you're able to build trust and relationship much faster than if you kept it as a general experience. Let's say for example, you are in the personal fitness space. You are doing uh, educational products or eBooks or whatever you're selling specifically. You go on a site called muscleforlife.com, you're able to see they segmented, they know on the very top of the funnel level between boys, girls, men or female. 
and they split that experience because they know the languaging, the values, the way that you speak to an audience is very different. So this is one of the most powerful ways when you're able to personalize the experience, the journey on your website for your target audience that goes on. Because there's different segments for your target audience. There's different results, there's different problems. You can segment it based on interest. You can segment it based on whatever categories that you have for your business. And once you split up, you can create personalized knowledge, value, and guides to be able to add value to them. One of the greatest benefits of personalizing the journey and experience when someone lands on your website is you're able to build that relationship, add more value, and reduce that resistance to, so that they're able to become a lifelong customer from you in a much shorter amount of time. Now, the next thing that you wanna do, even though your website is designed to be able to add value to them for the awareness part of the conversion journey, I want you to be able to set the right expectations. Because when you're able to tell your target audience who is the best right fit for their products or services, you can also say who is not the best fit for your product or services. Because when you're able to tell them who is not the best fit, you're able to narrow down the amount of leads that you get, but at the same time, you get higher quality leads. That's what you wanna do is you wanna tell the target audience that goes on your site, who is this for, who is this not for? This will be able to set the right expectations, but also increase the conversions along the journey for your target audience. When you're able to tell your potential customers who is a good fit and who is not a good fit, it does two very important things. When we focus on telling people who are a good fit, we're able to build more customer retention because we set the right expectations. We're matching the languages, we're matching the results, we're matching the problems they wanna overcome, their values and the stories and build that trust and relationship. When we try to convince and tell people who are not our target audience, we repel these people that aren't a good fit because what happens when people track the customers, potential customers that aren't a good fit is that you increase your churn later. You increase the amount of refunds, you increase so many different factors because we're, we aren't trying to target everybody. That's why the ideal audience persona is so important. We wanna tell people who we're going for and who we're not going for. Th that way we're able to increase the average order value, we're able to reduce the churn, reduce the refunds, and reduce the amount of mental space that we have to waste dealing with co potential customers that aren't ready for your business or aren't even right for the product or service that you sell. Now, as promised, now you're gonna be able to get the full step-by-step -step walkthrough, website templates, conversion journey map outs that you can use and plug and play for your business so that you don't have to spend a ton of time and money trying to figure this out on your own. You can go on right here, there's gonna be a link, bensonsum.com, go on to Digital Market University, go on to the specific post, and you'll be able to see the exact walkthrough and step-by-step -step how to be able to map out the conversion journey, how to include the five core elements, and be able to work this and personalize it for your business to generate thousands of leads every single month with this foundation. Now, what I want you to do is comment below. I want you to let me know through these different stages, the awareness, the indoctrination, the conversion, and even the extension stage, which we haven't gone into yet, I'll cover that in the next video without overwhelming you. What is the core stage you wanna focus on for your business right now? You can even comment below, let me know what business you're in, what product or service you sell, and I'll take a look at your website, and I'll tell you what you should focus on between these three stages to develop and cultivate. The next thing I want you to do, I want you to like this video, let me know that you like this video and content so that we can make sure to keep producing more of these to help you grow your business online successfully. Now I want you to do, here you can see my face is circle, subscribe to the channel because every week you're gonna get videos that's gonna teach you exactly how to generate more leads, how to generate more traffic, how to convert more sales, everything you need to know about growing a business online successfully. So hit that subscribe right there and also be a part of the fastest growing YouTube community for entrepreneurs and digital marketers as well. So thank you for watching this and I'll see you in the next one.